Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so I went and did a little bit of digging. Uh, I didn't actually start branch mining or anything, but I dug all the way down to bedrock there. And, you know, I wanted to make a bucket. Ugh. So unprepared. Oh, crap. <laughs> I, I got ready, I got everything in my inventory, I sorted everything out, and then, you know, apparently I just forgot at some point. Okay, um, so I didn't change much to the way that the house is going to be designed. Um, I did push this, this wall was like right here, but I pushed it out one because I realized that on this side, the wall was flush with the tower, and on this side it wasn't, and I didn't like that, so I just added a little bit. I may have to, eh, eh, it looks alright. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I have no idea. Um, I've just got a ladder here temporarily. We'll find a quick way up at some point or another, but, you know, until then, I don't know. I have no idea, guys. No idea. Um, so in the corners, I'm going to put... Lower that one for now. Let's get this going. I'm probably going to use... Um, panes instead of the actual glass blocks because it's a lot cheaper. Um, oop. I did remove all the dirt from up here and there was some over here because I realized that most of the house wasn't underneath the dirt so I was just like, eh, let's remove it. And then I did. So that's cool. Um, eventually I might turn these into glowstone blocks when I get glowstone. But until then, it'll probably just stay cobblestone. Well, I might put torches on them. Because the point of making them glowstone would be to, um... Uh, to light up stuff so I wouldn't have to put torches down and everything. Because, I mean, torches are nice, but... I'd rather if I could get, like... Glowstone. <laughs> Something that's not torches. Because torches, when you light stuff with them, they have to be in the way. Like, they have to be sticking off of a block. Like, I could put them here, but the windows are supposed to go there. I could put them on the floor, but they're, like, right where you're walking. And, you know, I could put them on the walls, but they're, again, like, right where you're walking. And it's just... Ugh. Whereas glowstone, you can put it in the wall. And it doesn't make everything look all retarded. Cobblestone again go. Yeah, I've, we've got quite a few um, stacks of cobblestone. It turns out the, that uh, digging a 3x3 three three hole down a good 68 blocks, maybe, is kind of a lot of stone, really, and some dirt. I did get some lapis and redstone, but I left that in the in the um, house over there. Um, let's make a little temporary... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, can't just leave it there. Let's make a little temporary way up here. And, let's see. I'm thinking at some point I want to have a water thing dropping down through the middle. But you know what, let's go get a bucket and do that real quick. Uh, I say real quick, but it'll probably take up like five minutes. Just running down to the, running back to the house and running down to the water. We've got plenty of iron. Uh, actually, I am kind of running low because I did make myself a suit of iron armor. Um, just for digging. But... Uh, turned out to not really be necessary. I didn't hit any caves. I did hit a little lava room, but there was not much there. There was some lapis in the ceiling, which is cool, but, you know, nothing fancy. Some redstone. Um, that's how much iron we have left. We've got four diamonds from the cave and the gold. Um, what did I come here for? Oh, right, a bucket of water. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Actually, I wouldn't have had to go all the way down. <laughs> if, I did, if I did go all the way down there, I would have face palmed later, because there's a bunch of water right here in an infinite source. Or infinite spring thingy. You know what I mean. Spring fling. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm not sure where I want to put this. I want it to be up so that it drops down. And I might even eventually put something like way up high so that it looks all cool and stuff. Um, but for now... Well, let's see. I want to have a second floor on this tower here. So we will make a ceiling here. 
Um, this probably won't stay cobblestone. It's just for now, while I'm working on this, it's going to be cobblestone until I can get more resources and stuff. Um, this would be the second floor. And... Uh, well, you know, we don't really have that planned out that far yet, so... Let's just do this. And we'll put it... Nope. Actually, I don't know how well that's going to light stuff up, so we'll do this. Add, get a little bit extra light. Because otherwise, the light would have to go over one block and then down one block before it started hitting anything. Whereas here, it starts out full strength. Uh, like Tylenol. Or is that... Wait. Is that, uh... Oh, I can't even remember what it's called. The not Tylenol painkiller. <laughs> the other one. Uh, that people usually just have around the house. Tylenol? Advil? Which which one did I say? I think I said Tylenol. I meant Advil. And I was trying to think of Tylenol, which probably explains why it was so hard for me to figure it out. I don't know where I'm going. Um, anyway. This door is now a little off-center. You know what? That's fine. We'll have it off-center. No big deal. Doesn't really matter. Um, let's get some pains going. Let's start with a stack. We're probably going to use way more than that, but I don't want to make too many. <clears throat> oh, that reminds me. Uh, there is a wireless redstone... Well, there's a way of transmitting information, I, I should say, wirelessly in Minecraft. Um which is really cool, and it works incredibly long distances. Uh, as long as both chunks are loaded, the sending chunk and the receiving chunk, it'll work. But, um... It is limited in how many types of... Uh, it's limited as to how many bits you can... No. <laughs> like, there are... That I know of that's easy to make. <clears throat> Excuse me. My voice is just, like, crazy today. Um, what I know of that's easy to make, there are six different, like, I want to, I'll call it, like, frequencies. Um, six different ways that you can get the information, uh, or send and get the information without interfering. But beyond that, it might get a little bit more difficult, because you'll have to find a way to decode what you're sending on the other end. Anyway, I'll just start explaining what it is now. Um... There's a thing with glass panes where, and I'm going to be careful to do it while I'm putting these down because I don't want to waste glass panes. See how when I put my mouse over this, um, the, the only the left half of this pane is covered? Like, this is only half the block right here, but this is only the part that's covered. There's this empty spot right here that I can actually punch through. Whereas with this one, all the way from left to right is, is covered up. Well, when I put my cursor over this, or over this one right here, other glass blocks... Um, or other glass panes, like these ones, get the same box that this does. So, this acts as a collision box. So when I look at this, this one right here and all the other ones have the same collision box as this one, meaning something could pass right through this area right here. Um, and there's a way that if you go to static 77, or 777 static 777, which is really hard to say, so I'm just going to refer to them as static from now on, and if you don't know who that is, then... Boohoo. Um, <laughs> uh, he has a video on it, and I copied it into my redstone world because it's ingenious. And um, it just works basically that there's a piston pushing up a boat um, up and down over and over and over again. See, I'm glad I just made that amount. It came out to be the perfect amount. Um, he ha you, The piston pushes a boat up and down, but the piston goes really fast, so the boat doesn't have time to fall. So it, like, starts falling, but then the piston catches it again. We've got to run back and sleep. Um, and there's a pressure plate underneath. And the, uh, the piston pushes the glass pane up and down so that uh, when, when it's just the default, on, like, just on the ground, it's a four-way pane. Like, I've, I've only got two extras. I might as well just show you guys. Um, you know, it's not that big a waste. It's just, like, one fourth of a sand block anyway. Um, when it's like this, the boat is like on the edge here, and when it pushes it up and down, it stays up, it gets pushed up by that edge. 
But when you look at a glass pane that's just at the side, so you're only seeing this half of it, or like the, it only covers up this half, the boat can fall down onto the pressure plate. So from way far away, I could just look at a pressure or, or look at a glass pane and have it change what's going on there. And there's no way to get those back without silk touch, unfortunately. Um, so oh, I'm gonna put this back actually. Uh, so that's a really neat way of doing it, and it works with the. Um, uh, what's it called? I don't have enough wood to cover up that entire floor. Let's go grab some wood. Um, how much time do I have left? Uh, no time. Sweet. That was really quick. What did we even do? We d did the glass panes and the thing. Oh man, guys, drives me crazy sometimes. Um, but I'll finish describing this before I go. Um, so it works with the iron bars too. Exact same way, except it doesn't interfere. Like, um, the problem is that you can only have one device going off of one signal. Like, if you have two devices that work on different frequencies, I mean, if they're far enough away that they'll never be loaded at the same time, then you're fine. Because they can't interfere, because you, you'll never be able to look at or change the thing of one glass pane and change one thing while you're at the other one. You know what I mean? But if they're close nearby, if they're close together, you can only have up to six simple frequencies. As in, you have one where it's full like this and both sides are covered up. Then one where it's just one side and one where it's the other side. Um, well, actually, I think he mentioned something about being able to do it a different way. Because the way I've seen it, when you place a boat, it places it facing, I think, north. Which, in this case, would be that way. Um, but, wow. For some reason, I was always thinking it was that way. Um, so, and the orientation of the boat does affect whether or not it works. So I don't really know how he would plan on getting the boat to face the right direction for the other ways. But if you could get the boat to face the right way, then it would most likely work. Um, I'm assuming you could use a... a... minecart as well. Uh, which would be a lot easier to orient, because you could just put the track this way, place it on the track, break the track, and then, you know, drop it onto something. Um, but a boat, you'd have to turn it yourself, which I don't really know how, you'd, how you would do that. Uh, so I suppose, theoretically, there are four per type of material. So you'd have eight overall. Four for the glass panes, four for the iron bars. And, um, which should be more than enough for you to run your, your machines simply. But, of course, this does require a piston constantly going up and down to detect whether or not it's activated. And that can be kind of, uh, laggy for your computer if you don't have a good computer. You, you guys know how it is. Um, so, hold on. Oh, I forgot to do the, the thing today where I, uh, so I've got the better frame rate, or not frame rate, but better memory stuff. Oh well, it doesn't really change anything anyway. Um, let's see, oh, also I removed the ads from all my videos because I realized that I was not making much money from it. Um, so, I mean, I only have, like, you know, 20 subscribers, so, uh, it's really not, I'm sure you'd probably need a good at least a couple hundred to even notice how much money you're making. <clears throat> but, um, so you guys can all enjoy that. I mean, I, I didn't want to put ads on my videos in the first place. It was just because I could make money from it and I kind of need some money. But, um, it obviously didn't work out so well. So maybe some later time, if I've got more subscribers, eventually I'll put it up. But for now, it's all for free. No ads, nothing. Um... Let's see, anything else to talk about? I did harvest all this wheat before, and I ended up with, like, an extra stack of bread, so we've got a good... I think we have a whole stack in the chest back there, actually, so... You know, that's good. That's cool. We we got, like, four... No, five and a half stacks of wheat from that last harvest, which was, like, all... They were pretty much all grown, so... Uh, and that was incredible. That's a lot of wheat. Uh... Anything else before I want to go? Um... I don't think so. I will be doing some mining, not necessarily now, but some other time. Oh, this would have been a good indicator of um, how it works. But yeah, you could just set up three... P oh, also I want to point out that there are three different levels of frequencies, like strengths, I guess, where one will take over other ones. Uh, there are three ways to activate this. It's to look at it, or touch it, or basically be in the same block as it, not necessarily touch it. Uh, but you can you can touch it from the top and it'll work too. 
but I found that even getting close to it, even though it's not actually... Like, if I did this, even though I'm not actually rubbed up against it, I'm, it still counts. Um, and shooting it with an arrow. And looking at it is the weakest, and then touching it is the second strongest, and shooting it with an arrow is the highest, I believe. So, um, if I'm wrong, I'll put an annotation, but I, I believe that's right. Um, so, you can set up machines to just shoot from a dispenser at it, an arrow at it, and that way, whenever you're, you can just have it set for, like, five minutes, because that's how long it takes for things to despawn. I'm assuming it, it takes an arrow five minutes, because it takes items five minutes when you drop them to despawn. So I would assume that an arrow that was fired would take five minutes as well, but I suppose I don't really know that. Um, and it could last for, you know, however long, which would be good if you were doing it just to, like, open up a pathway or something, or open up a, a secret room or whatever, I don't know. Um, or just if you wanted something just to be timed, you could always do that as well. Uh, and I believe the latest arrow shot counts, or overrides previous arrows shot, because the way I saw it, Static doing it, which I'll, uh, I, I'll put a link in, in the description, um, if I can remember, which I'll try. If not, remind me in the comments, and I'll give you a link to it. Um, he, he has it set up so he's using arrows, because that way you don't actually have to be looking at it or pressing up against the thing, you can just press a button, and it sends it long range. But personally, I would just put up a little display of three glass things and be like, this is the control panel. You know, just look at whatever one, or walk into it, or stand on it, or do a little dance, I don't know. Um, and, uh, but, you know, each to his own. And, I was going to say, I forget what I was talking about now. I was talking about dancing, that's got me distracted. Um... But yeah, so you could do it a bunch of different ways. The way I would probably do it, which I intend to do it at some point or another on this server, because it's... I mean, this isn't a server. Why did I say on this server? Um, on this world, because it's fantastic, and it's it's fun, and I might just use it to just, like, light things up far away for all, you know, because I can't really think of anything really particularly useful to do it with. Maybe to send redstone signal, or to send signal for, like, a, a wheat farm that's that sends water really far down would be a good way to do it. You know, just stand on the thing and then wait for it to all push the, all the wheat forward and then get off, and then you can walk down. And I don't know. I'll try to think of something. Uh, but all I can think of right now is just a tower of the distance with a light on it. Anyway, um... So, I do intend to do that. I, the way I will probably do it is I'll set up a T-flip-flop on the end, so that as soon as it gets a pulse from the... the thing, it will flip over, and then wait for another pulse to turn off, so that way I can just turn it on and off by um, just pressing it and then letting it do its thing and uh, then the next time I want it to do it again I just give it another pulse by looking at the thing or standing on it or whatever or there's a cave under here somewhere I think it's over here um, <clears throat> and uh, then you'll be good you know just get the thing and oh, hi creeper is this a long cave because oh he's gonna blow up yeah that's a, whoa big hole that was a lot bigger than I was expecting Okay, so it's been probably way longer than I was supposed to be right now. Hold on just a second, and I will check. Oh, yeah, it's been like 17 minutes. Um, well, I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm trying to make them shorter, but I just... I can't even finish talking about things in 10 minutes, let alone finish anything in the game. We didn't even put a roof on our house. I guess that'll have to come next time. Um, okay, so thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time, guys. See ya.